Right, welcome, and we're going to do another tutorial. This one is going to be on circle with a line through it, a no symbol. So let's uh, share the screen. Here, and uh, there we go. Screen check. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with a part, as we always start with a part, not a drawing. Let's start with a part. We're going to do a drawing of this cart. And by default, it's in English. And I am going to go through here. And I'm going to start a 2D sketch, and I'm going to start it on the XY plane. The XY plane is the same as the print belt. And I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to start at the origin. I can go through and just type in two here. Although let's say, let's say if I hit, uh, I hit say I hit backwards, it goes away. Uh, so you're just gonna wanna just type over two. Or let's say you click in the meantime, you can always go up here to dimension Click on the line and type in two if you so choose. Now, to make a circle with a line through it, I am also going to need a circle which is smaller than the first one. So I'm also going to start in the center. And let's make this one at one. Um, that look right. That doesn't look right. Let's go with uh, changing this dimension. So I'm going to hit escape or right click and hit uh, uh, get out of tool. So I'm just going to double click on that there and I'm going to go 1.5. That looks better. Okay. Let's do 1.5. Then I am going to need a rectangle. Now, by default, there's this kind of rectangle, but I want it at an angle, and um, I want it positioned in the center, which that's not going to help with. So, right click, hit OK, go delete that. I'm going to choose a different rectangle. Now, I could do a three point rectangle if I wanted and go like there, but it's really hard to get it centered properly. So, I'm going to use Um, I'm going to choose a different rectangle. I'm going to choose a two point center rectangle. I could do a three point center rectangle as well, or we do about the same thing. I want to show more um, function. So I'm going to do this one, which is a little bit longer, but it goes through more stuff. So this one is going to make a rectangle that either goes up or out, but it also keeps it centered on the inside. Um, let's do 0.25 right. Yeah, let's follow it. And then I'm going to choose another function, which is the rotate function. This has got two red arrows. Each red arrow means a piece of information. Uh, one is what am I rotating? Which, yeah, there we go. It's got all of this stuff. I click on the other red arrow. When I click in the center, it's going to complain and say, hey, this, this thing is being constrained to say it only goes up, down, or left, right. Do you want to remove that so that we can put it at an angle? And I say, yeah, because that's why I chose rotate. And it, yes. And I can do this. I could go and just eyeball it, or I can specify a degree. I'm going to specify 45 degrees. And there we go. I, yeah, rotate. And then, a tool that we've seen before, trim. I am going to trim some lines. You can use the center wheel to scroll. It complains about removing this one, so I'm just gonna just gonna 
exit trim, and I'm just going to click on it and hit the delete button. I was going to delete these browsing. Oh, when I'm zoomed in here, I can see I can hit the trim button and get those right there. But the dashed line was also interfering with those. So if there's nothing around the trim, suddenly works. And there is a button that says no. You could totally put something in there. No me. Okay. I'm going to export this. I can either turn in a DXF or an IPT. DXF, you're going to finish the sketch. Uh, right click here and hit uh, export sketch as DXF, or you save the whole thing under save as and give it a name other than part six, uh, no, that IPT and hit save. Uh, the IPTs are 3D. The sketches are only 2D. Um, also, if you export the sketch, don't forget to save your file. I'm just going to export the sketch though. I will be on to the next one in a minute. Let's stop the recording so I can find where that is. Let's stop sharing so I can find the stop recording.